or what happens if the contamination reaches out to the Great Lakes and is it possible? So we're talking about the contamination from the future mine site. Yeah. Um, if, if it did reach out to the Great Lakes, it could negatively impact the aquatic resources, so the fisheries, it could negatively impact some of the plants that are out there. Um, also, it could have effects on some water chemistry too. Um, I think it is possible. We've been seeing within the Great Lakes region there is other mining operations and um, people are concerned if it is going to reach the Great Lakes, what kind of Im impact it would have. This mine is uh, to be uh, located uh, on the Pinocchi Range near the uh, town of uh, Mellon, Wisconsin. And the proposed mine would be uh, located at the very headwaters of the Bad River uh, watershed. And there are many uh, pristine uh, streams that uh, run into the uh, Bad River. What wildlife depend on wild rice? Well, it very, very many different species depend on wild rice. It's a, it's a pretty amazing plant that way, that uh, wild rice environments tend to attract everything from insects to things as large as deer and moose to come and feed on them. Uh, they're important, especially important to ducks, and they're sort of famous as a food for waterfowl species and geese and swans. They're very important to muskrats and to some other fur bearers. Uh, their root systems provide good habitat for young fish. Uh, and there's um, predator species that'll come and feed on all of these other species that are attracted to rice. So wild rice habitat tends to be really alive with wildlife. Uh, many, many different species. And biologically, they're just really uh, diverse and abundant in the different number of species that they support. Why is water important to the Bad River people? Water is really important to the Bad River tribe because they depend on it to um, for safe water to drink. They depend on it to harvest the fishery resources, which they eat and um, depend on for survival. They, it's also important because of the wild rice resources too. Basically, if the water is polluted, um, then the community, because they're so in, dependent on it and intertwined with it, the community may, will become sick too. So it's really, really important for us to keep that water clean. Is there anything else you want to ask? Yeah, one thing I would love to add is one, one way that our department has been working on protecting the water resources is to develop water quality standards, which it's a really big deal. We, we started the process maybe 10, 15 years ago, and we just recently submitted water quality standards that are approved by the Tribal Council to the EPA. So they're currently reviewing them, and hopefully in a couple months, we'll have federally recognized water quality standards, which is one way we can protect the water quality here.